Hey you guys, good morning. We are about to head on over to Publix and do an in-store Publix haul. But before we do that, I did wanna do a giveaway in this video. I'm gonna be giving away a $20 gift card. You're gonna be able to pick either a $20 digital Walmart gift card, a digital Target gift card, or if you wanna wait a couple days, I can mail you a physical $20 Publix gift card. I'm doing this giveaway to celebrate 2,000 subscribers here on my channel. I am so, so excited and so grateful for all of you. I'm so excited excited about my channel growing and I appreciate you all so much. So to enter into this giveaway, all you have to do is just make sure you're subscribed to my channel, hit the thumbs up button for this video, and then comment down below on this video, what is your favorite thing about being a couponer? I'll quickly share mine. I have like a thousand things that I love about being a couponer, but one of my top things is I always have so much on hand for gifts. So I even have a small stockpile of toys. We have personal care, beauty items, snacks, little treats and chocolates and things like that. So I can put together gifts for people really easily and I give gifts out for like every reason because one of my top love languages is gifts. So I just love giving people gifts. It makes me so happy. And now I don't have to stress about finding room in the budget to afford gifts for everybody for every reason I can just go into my stockpile and get gifts all the time and it just makes me so happy so I really love that about being a couponer but let me know in the comments down below what's your favorite thing about being a couponer don't forget to give the video a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed I will announce the winner of the giveaway in my Sunday Target haul video so come back for that haul video on Sunday and I will let you know who wins the giveaway I'm also doing a separate giveaway over on my Instagram so if you use Instagram you can go over there and enter into that giveaway as well. It is a completely separate giveaway. All right, you guys, let's get on into the Publix haul. This week at Publix, I feel like there's a lot of great deals, but there's not a lot of low out-of-pocket deals. I feel like my out of pocket's gonna be kind of high, but we're gonna get some amazing savings and like really good items that I wanna pick up. Definitely over like 60, 70% savings. I'm thinking we'll probably be around 80% savings, but let's see how everything turns out. I'm also gonna be working on the stocking spree rebate. So I'm gonna grab a couple items towards the stocking spree. <laughs> rebate and then hopefully get my next ten dollar gift card Mama. it is so hard to record with them awake and in the house and she has like a floaty on to go swimming so it's like 7 a.m <laughs> all right let's get into the public hall let's go So first off, we have organic Driscoll blackberries. Buy one, get one free, so they're $2.50 each. This is a super hot deal. I know I always talk about berries and fruits and produce and things like that, but I actually used to be a produce buyer, so <laughs> I always have my eye out for great deals on things like that. So this is a super hot deal on organic berries. This one is a super easy deal. Grab two of these Snack Factory pretzel crisps. They're buy one, get one free. We have a cinnamon sugar flavor going on over here. So you're gonna pay for just one of these. Then you're gonna submit to Ibotta and you're gonna get 75 cents back on one. It's just a limit of one, but that's gonna make your total $2.94 or $1.47 each. This is a super hot cheese deal. These shredded cheeses are normally $4.79. They're on sale for $2.50 and we have dollar coupons. We have insert coupons from SmartSource 516. Some regions got 75 cents off, but some got a dollar off of one. There also were dollar coupons up on the coupons.com website recently, so you might've printed off some of those. But if you use one dollar coupon, you're gonna pay just $1.50 per bag. The sliced cheese is also on sale for $2.50. It's just not as great of a deal because the sliced cheeses are typically a little bit cheaper. I was really surprised that the shredded cheese was also $2.50 each. Next, we have a great deal on the Gatorade 8 packs. These are buy one, get one free. We have these dollar off of two coupons. I see them all over the place, so hopefully you guys can find one of those. Grab two of these 8 packs and you're gonna pay just $5.71 with that dollar off two coupon. It makes them just $2.86 each, but you can submit these to the stocking spree rebate. This is a high ticket item. Definitely make sure you're submitting this to the rebate site. This will make a good dent in your spend 50, get that $10 gift card. Some of the Rubbermaid is buy one, get one free, and it does include some of the glass containers. So I just wanted to show you guys that really quick. Next, we have a great deal on the Barilla pasta. These chickpea and red lentil ones, they're buy one, get one free, and there is an Ibotta rebate. So you're gonna grab two for $2.89. You're gonna get 75 cents back on each. That's gonna make your total $1.39 or just 70 cents each. 
This upcoming Sunday, we are getting more Chobani coupons. So we're gonna get some creamer coupons, some coffee coupons. It works on the milk as well. All of those are buy one, get one free this week, but also the multi-packs are buy one, get one free. And we currently do have a dollar off of two coupon. That was from Smart Source 5 too. So if you wanna grab some of those, that's a really great deal. There's also a dollar off of two digital for the multi-packs that I have in my account. But once we get those additional Chobani coupons on 523, this is gonna make for a really hot deal because they're buy one, get one free. And there is a Chobani rebate. They kind of reset, I think, for this month. So it's spend 15, get $5 back. So combine all those offers together if you wanna stock up on a ton of Chobani. I love this deal on the Ripple Milk. They're buy one, get one free at 450. We do have dollar printable coupons. I will link them down below. They're on the Ripple site. I was able to print two different ones with different pins. So I'm using two of those today. I'll pay $2.50 or just $1.25 each and these are giant 48 ounce bottles. You guys know the spiel on this one. I'm picking it up again. I will put the breakdown down in my Google Doc. I'll also link the coupons down below but grabbing one chocolate and one strawberry is going to be a 36 cent moneymaker using Shopkick. Next, I'm going to grab the Always Discreet Pads. These are the 30 count, so you want to make sure you grab these ones because this coupon does say 26 count and up. So these are $5.49. We have a $2 extra savings book coupon plus a $2 digital. If you don't want to use your digital or you already used it, we do have $2 coupons in the May PNG. So you're going to use one manufacturer coupon, one extra savings book coupon. You'll pay just $1.49 each, but then don't forget to submit to the Stocking Spree rebate because you should get credit for $5.00. 49 cents. This was really sad when I came to this aisle and saw that these are completely gone, but these are a nine count brawny paper towel on sale for $5.17. There is a $1.50 printable coupon. I will link it down below. I found this coupon courtesy of my Publix coupon buddy, so thank you to them. But that makes one of these just $3.69 for a nine count of paper towels. Go run and see if you can find these in your store. I am so sad I couldn't grab them today, but I definitely wanted to tell you guys about it. Next, I'm going to grab two of these Rise Nitro Cold Brew. We do have a dollar off of two printable coupon. I'll link that down below. But you're going to pick up two of them, and then with the coupon, you're going to pay just $1.99 or a dollar each. Next, we have a super hot deal on these Dr. Prager sliders. They're $3.33 and they're buy one, get one free. I have this dollar Peely coupon that I'm going to use. So that's going to make my total $2.33 for two. Without that coupon, you're going to pay $3.33. Submit to I bought it for $1.50 back on each, making two of these packs of sliders $0.33 cents or $0.17 cents each. That is such a good deal. I actually really like these. I grabbed the buffalo chicken ones, but check your fetch. Apparently, a lot of people get great fetch offers for food. I am not one of them, but a lot of people do have a fetch offer for Dr. Prager's, making this a moneymaker. Next, we have a great deal on the fresh cheddar pizzas. They are $6.71, buy one, get one free. We do have a dollar printable coupon over on coupons.com, and we also have a digital, so I'm gonna be using one of each. You'll pay just $4.71 or $2.36 each. I recently learned that these grown in Idaho fries are actually really delicious. So I'm picking up two of these bags. They're $3.29, buy one, get one free. Then you're gonna submit to Ibotta and get 50 cents back on each, making your total $2.29 or just $1.15 per bag. I am super excited about this Zone Perfect deal. These boxes are two for nine. There is a $2.50 off of two digital coupon. I don't know if it's available to clip anymore, so check and see if you have that on your account. But if you do, grab two of these. Then you're gonna submit to I bought it for $1.50 back on two. That's gonna make your total $5 or just $2.50 per box. These are five counts of bars, and I think this is a great deal. I posted on Instagram this morning about this deal because we just got new one-a-day coupons, $3. They are printable on the coupons.com website, and we also have a Publix Digital. So I'm grabbing one of these for $3.99 on clearance, and I'll pay just $0.99 cents after the digital. Next, we have a pretty great deal on these Gillette deodorants. If you still have the $5.49 off of two digital coupon, it was up a couple weeks ago to clip, so check your account and see if you have that on there. But if you do, grab two of these for $5.99. There is a promotion right now, a dollar off of two, so that will come off at the register, and then your $5.49 manufacturer coupon will come off. Then you're gonna submit to I bought it for a dollar back on each. I am gonna hit my P&G bonus today. You have to do five offers, and then you get a $1.50 bonus, so I'm actually going to get $3.50 back for buying these two deodorants. But without that bonus, you will pay $3.49 for both or $1.75 each. All right, so this is everything we ended up picking up from Publix today. But you guys, this 
was a little bit crazy of a haul because I tried to do some swag bucks deals and I kind of was doing them as an experiment and I knew it would be a little sketchy but I wanted to try it out because when you go on the swag bucks app sometimes it will list that it's valid at certain stores and it's not and it doesn't work so I was playing around with the app when you hit submit receipt and then you click your store Publix it will list a bunch of offers and it says these are all of the offers that are valid for Publix so I figured if you go on that screen that's going to show you all of the offers that you actually can submit for so those are all good offers turns out that is not the case because I did a few offers that were listed in there and they did not work it did not let me go all the way through with it once I submitted the receipt it said not valid for your store so I returned a bunch of items, but it was a good experiment to kind of see how the app works. I'm trying to find the best screen to go to to actually see which offers are gonna work at your store. And I kind of figured out if you go to the very top of the Swagbucks um, section where it's showing you in-store offers, there's a little search bar you can search Publix. When you type in Publix, then when that comes up, you can scroll all the way to the bottom and it will show you in-store offers. So I think that's probably the best way to actually know what's gonna work because sometimes the wording is weird and it will list stores it's not actually gonna work at. So that's kind of a work in progress, but I did an experiment and it did not work. <laughs> so here's my big receipt here. I paid 50, 60 before tax for all of the items, but I returned a bunch once I realized that they weren't gonna work on swag bucks. So over here are some of the items that I returned. I got back 16, 21 plus some tax. So I'm gonna take that out of this total because I literally returned those items, I don't have them anymore. Um, so after taking that out, it was about $34 that we paid for all of these items in the store. I did have a few paper coupons with no issues and then we did have some digital coupons and all of those came off really well. Um, the $5.49 for the two Gillette, my three for the one a day, $2.50 for two Zone Perfect, the two off the always, dollar off the fresh cheddar, and then this is my stocking spree. It kind of looks like a digital coupon, but it really is supposed to be like a gift card. But I don't care how it comes off, it worked. Um, so that was awesome. So essentially what I'm doing in this transaction is I'm rolling a stocking spree gift card because I used it here, and then I'm going to be getting another one back. With all the items that I bought today, I'm gonna be hitting that $50 mark to get another gift card. So just to reiterate, items that work towards stocking spree are Gatorades here. And then you would think the Gillette would because it's PNG, but that actually does not work, but the always does. So I already submitted and it actually comes back and tells you how much you got really quickly. So I actually got about $19 for the always and the two Gatorades. It counted both of them. Sometimes it won't count the BOGOs, but this time it did. So it gave me $19 towards that spend 50 from this transaction. So that was awesome. I did submit to fetch just to see if I'd get anything. I got like 10 cents back and some bonus points, nothing big there. And then you guys heard about the whole swag bucks thing. Um, so I did buy one pack of sponges for Shopkick. I got two other ones because I thought they might work for a swag bucks offer, but they did not. So I returned the other two. I kept the one. I didn't even show this deal in my video because I've done it so many times, but you just scan and submit this to Shopkick and you're going to get a little over $2 back. So it makes it like 91 cents, I think for one of those. So over on Shopkick, I am getting 1,800 kicks, so 500 for these, and then 1,300 for the bundle for the Promised Land. That comes out to about $7.20. And then over on Ibotta, we got 50 cents for each of the fries. We're getting back a dollar for each of the Gillettes. That's gonna help me hit my P&G bonus, so that's an extra $1.50. So I'm actually getting 350 back from the Gillette. We're getting a $1.50 back for each of the Dr. Pragers. We're getting $1.50 back for buying two of the Zone Perfects. So I think that's everything. I got back $9.10 for my bought it, including that $1.50 bonus for the Gillette. And then I'm also hitting my level two May, which is a dollar, and then my midweek, which is a dollar. So that's $11.10 back from Ibotta. So we have 21 items here. So before tax, we paid about $16 for everything here. That makes everything about 75 cents per item. When we look at the frozen pizzas and the Gatorades and the Zone Perfect, I am so excited about this. Even like the vitamins, we just have some really great items this week. Super excited about how this turned out. I felt like there weren't a ton of super cheap 
like low out of pocket deals at Publix, but there's some really amazing deals, some really good savings. I hope you guys can find those brawny paper towels because that's an amazing deal. I was so sad when I got to that aisle and they were completely out. So definitely look for that. I will have the coupons that I mentioned linked down below. So I'll have the promised land, the rise, those are on the same site. And then the brawny paper towel I'll link down as well. Also the ripple is a separate one that I'll link. My Google Doc with all of the deals we talked about today is gonna to be linked down below as well. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Go let me know what's your favorite part about being a couponer. I will be announcing the winner in my Sunday Target haul, so check back for that. If you guys enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to my channel if you have not yet, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.